Welcome back, folks, and we are here at the exercise number one on page number 38. Okay, so uh, we're going to start doing it right now, and uh, let's see. First, we will read it, and we will identify and underline which part of a sentence uh, is the part that refers to ability, okay? Can, could, could not, cannot, or will be able to, or be able to do in something, okay? <clears throat> Being able to, I mean that, sorry about that. So now we will find it in sentence, sentence A. When we move to our new house in the countryside, I will be able to get a horse. Ah, so the part that we will need to underline it is, we'll be able to, okay, we'll be able to get a horse. And I like that part. Next to the sentence B. Clever hands. A horse that lived a hundred years ago in Germany could do ar arithmetic. Arithmetic. Okay, arithmetic. I did not see that on the screen, so I cannot say that at all. So, clever hands. A horse that lived a hundred years ago in Germany can do arithmetic. <laughs> arithmetic. Arithmetic, okay. So, underline could, okay. That is a part about ability. Could, could do, could. Let us see. I might be able to feed your goldfish while you're on holiday, okay. I might be able. Underline a part. Be able to, okay. Might be able to, be able to. Sentence D, my cat hates not being able to go outside. My cat hates not being able to go outside. Underline apart. Quite the same as be able to, but this time being able to. Okay, being, just ing at the, at the end. <coughs> Letter E, our parrot can say about a hundred different words. Okay, a hundred different words must be... Um, okay, I'm not talking about that, okay, um, just forget about that. Petter can say more than a hundred different words, okay? Uh, underline the part, can, okay, can. Letter F, my grandfather was attacked by a bear, although he managed to escape, okay? So this time, you cannot see... Which part of a sentence is the part can or could, could not, cannot, be able to, being able to? So, in your mind, what phrase can it be the expression refer to ability? Think of it. Well, if you are thinking about the phrase manage to do something, you are correct. Manage Managed to, okay, blah, 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 then verb, you can see escape, it is the verb zero, uh, verb infinitive, okay? G, I can't take your dog for a walk tomorrow, I'm gonna be in London for the day, okay? So, you can see, can't, underline that part, H, I took my hamster to the vet, but she couldn't find anything wrong with it. Okay, so underline could. Okay, could not. Could not find. Letter I, last sentence. As I approached the door, I could hear a dog barking. Okay, I could hear a dog barking. So uh, underline the part could. Okay, I could hear. So that is how it works. So uh, we finished the sentence uh, exercise number one or if you missed it, uh, any part of a, maybe I, if I spoke too fast, you can look for the answers right over here, okay? I wrote it down for you. Now let's move to the exercise number two right now, folks. Let's see what did they tell us to do. Read the learner's box, match the sentences from A to I in the sentence exercise number one with the rules from one to six, okay? So, sentences from A to I. The part that we had underlined, 
those will be put into the correct usage of the um, ability phrases. Okay, so let's take a look at the learners box and let's just see what are the usages of it and maybe we'll match something into the box. Okay, so let's just let it here and now let's uh, where it is. Where is it? Okay, so we will find we not only we read the uh, usage, but we also have to match with the uh, sentence from above. Okay, from the exercise number one. So first, we will for learn the first usage of the uh, ability is that we normally use can or cannot, <coughs> or you can say can't. To talk about the ability in the present, can or cannot to talk about the ability in the present. Okay, so let's find which sentences is it. Or you can look up here. Okay, so we have can for E and G cannot. Okay, so let's find E. Our parrot can say about a hundred different a hundred different words. Okay. And uh, what else? G, I cannot take your dog for a walk tomorrow, um, because uh, because this is about uh ability in the present. Okay, our parrot can say about a hundred different words, so it is in the present. So E. Will be matched with the uh, usage one e okay one e. Second, we normally use will be able to to talk about an ability in the future. Ability in the future will be able to. So let's see where is it. <coughs> okay, uh, it, it is from the sentence a. Let's see if that is correct. When we move to our new house in the countryside, I'll be able to get a horse. So they don't, they haven't moved to their new house yet. So they said that they will be moving to the new house, new countryside, uh, new house in the countryside, and they will get, will be able to get a horse. So that is the part that will we be matched. It will be matched. To the uh, number two uh, example A. Next, <clears throat> however, we often use can or cannot to talk about future arrangements. So we can also also use um, can or cannot for both uh, ability in the present and also future arrangements. Okay, so uh, we have one one sentence about can right over here. Uh, uh, e, we did it, and G cannot. Okay, so let's see. I cannot take your dog for a walk tomorrow. Tomorrow, it is in the future. Plans in the future can we can also use can or cannot. Okay, so it will be matched with here. Okay, number three, we use be able to when we need an infinitive. Be able to when we need an infinitive. So we have uh, be able to right over here. Sentence C. Let's take a look. I might be able to feed your goldfish while you're on holiday. So you can see that I might. Might then plus verb uh, infinitive. So it is the basic structure. You know it already. So if they need a a form of an infinitive. Use it in the normal verb, it means verb zero, and you can see be able to, okay? Be able to when we need an infinitive, followed by the first, the, the previous word, okay? So, uh, C will be going with the, uh, first half of the, first half of the, uh, sentence structure three. And we'll be right back with the next part of the show. We will finish the learner's box and more exercises. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs>